Uh, Josh, thanks for joining us today. It's a 2 0 defeat here at home to Cheltenham Town. Must be a disappointing one in the dressing room. Yeah, we're disappointed with, especially the way we conceded the goals. Um, we're disappointed with a lot of things. I think the lead up to the game has not been ideal. Um, I don't know what to say about how we've been treated or made to play this game. But it's not ideal preparation, and that's not making excuses. But I don't think we'll ever come into a game with that sort of preparation ever. Um, but look, we won't make it. We'll try not to use that as an excuse. We can see two real sloppy goals. Um, I think they dominated us first half, and then second half we've come out and give it a right good go and manage the game better. Maybe could have got lucky a couple of times. I think they've made a great couple of blocks. But yeah, it wasn't to be today. It was a better second half, and that's the kind of recurring theme we've seen from the O's this year. Is there something about maybe the spirit or the mentality that when we do go behind, there, there's something a little bit extra there? Definitely. I think we've got that spirit. We've shown it many times already. But for me, we shouldn't be getting in that situation too, too many times. It's not good enough defensively for me. The, the goals are sloppy again, and it's not nice to try and fight back it. The, the Plymouth game and the Mansfield being 2-0 down and coming back, it's a great feeling to come back, but we need to eradicate that. We need to be grabbing the game by the stuff, scruff of the neck and, and us going to that. Because we proved that in the second half, we can adjust and we can get to grips with what's going wrong. And maybe we just need to do that a bit earlier. They are uh, quite a feisty encounter by the end, and I think a few yellow cards on Neo's um, half, one for yourself as well. Did it, did it seem that that kind of game, the kind of frustration kind of came in towards the end then? Frustrations and the, the best way of putting it, I think, Lou. We can't comment on refs, so I won't. Um, look, they obviously played the game, we'd do exactly the same if we were 2 0 up. But I don't think they helped us, and I think the frustration showed, yeah, with a few yellow cards to say and a few tackles that probably wouldn't have made if the game was managed better by certain people but like I say I can't say too much on them. One of the good things about this year is obviously football moves on very quickly and in just, just three days time we'll be back in action again against AFC Wimbledon. I mean that is one of the positives this year isn't it that if you do have a minor setback you get the chance to put it right straight away. It is, it's good. Probably not so good when we've been quarantined for two weeks but look we'll manage it as best we can and we'll go again Monday for the game Tuesday. Um, like you say games coming thick and fast Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. For me, I prefer to do that than wait for a game. And like you say, we can bounce back on Tuesday and then get the ball mo uh, moving again. Well, you've said before you've never prepared for a game like this before, and I can imagine a lot of things have been very strange. I can't imagine many teams ever have prepared for a game like this. Um, how are you feeling after that 90 minutes? Was your, were you feeling a little bit jaded, perhaps? The second half was tough. I think we got to grips with the game, but it was still tough. Um, we, we train every day. And we've gone from training every day, preparing for games, to nothing. Literally, we weren't allowed out of our house. So it's been tough. Like I say, we could use it as an excuse, but we won't. It's, it's what's happened. I'm sure other teams are going to have to do it as well. Um, so, yeah, we just look forward to getting back training and, and preparing properly and getting that ball, move, ball moving again and hopefully getting another win on, on Tuesday. I think while today has probably been disappointing from a, from a results perspective, it's probably worth reflecting that actually it's been a big, a good opening start to the season and, and that, you know there's plenty more in the tank to perform better than today. Without a doubt, I think Cheltenham will be right up there. And I think if you go on how we've prepared and how we've played in the second half especially, there's not much difference. Um, that, that's the positive I'll take from the game, I think. Again, 2-0 down to Mansfield, they're going to be up there. We can come back. So there is positives to take and uh, hopefully we can we can kick on again. We've got the game Tuesday and then obviously a long trip to Barrow on uh, on that weekend which will be fun. So yeah, let's hope we can get the ball ball going again. Nice one. Thank you Josh.